Hey guys, what's up? You're welcome back to my channel. My name is Nayuchi. If this is your first time of being on my channel, kindly hit the subscribe button, turn on the notification bell to see you so you'll be getting both my videos. Ah, scratch that. Hey guys, my name is Nayuchi and this is my channel. If this is your first time, kindly hit the subscribe button, like, share this video if this video is helpful for you. I'm nice in the room. So today I'm going to be telling you guys different countries you can travel by road. We're going to be talking about road trips and different countries to travel by road as a Nigerian. Part 1, I'm going to be giving you guys part 2 later because there are lots of countries to travel by road as a Nigerian or from Nigeria. So road trips are really good, right? It's not everybody that wants to travel goes through flights or you know travel by air right if you're traveling on a budget you might want to consider traveling by road because roads are more cheaper still safe it's more fun you get to learn more while traveling by road you get to see the areas you get to see everything literally what the country is like or you know everything but obviously as it has its good side it has its bad side more like the bad side is the distance so many people don't like staying on the journey for a very long time but so yeah that's probably like the downside of traveling by road the journey takes like forever and you might just get exhausted or get tired and then also rare road trips you might encounter issues with immigration or at the border and all of that probably if your documents are not lords or people trying to extort money from you right so these are the issues you might encounter while traveling by road so if you're someone that don't want to go through all of the stress you can as well just decide to go on a flight but we we don't mind traveling by road because all of these car experiences you get to learn while traveling so let's talk about the countries to travel by road from nigeria so the first country you can travel by road from nigeria is Benin republic kotonu port novo all of them are cities in Benin republic so lagos is the closest place to Benin republic to be honest why travel on a flight to Benin republic when you can do your road trip to Benin republic do you understand so you can go to your better republic by road so how you do it that if you're not in lagos you have to come to lagos first when you get to lagos you go to mao there are so many taxes there you don't even need a luxury bus to get to it's just like taxes because it's over like two hours or two hours 30 minutes two hours it's not that far so when you get to Bene uh, mainland you get to mile two you enter a taxi and you get to Benin republic and then the price is just like four thousand naira but i'm going to just round it up to five thousand naira it doesn't cost you a whole lot it's over like probably like four five dollars to get to Benin republic if you're not in nigeria watching this video you can go by road or by sea there are also boats that convey you from lagos to Benin republic as well so by road is like four thousand naira by sea is five thousand but it all depends so these are like approximately the price for you to go to Benin Republic by road the second country you can go to, to by road is Togo so on um, these countries are like French speaking countries Benin Republic is a French speaking country Togo is a French speaking country you have to learn French I mean it does it wasn't to learn but just know a little bit of French while traveling to these countries so yeah you can travel to Togo by road so how to get that is you can either go directly to Togo but most people go from they go to Benin Republic right then from Benin Republic they just enter Togo it's literally the same thing it's not that far so I don't know how much it is from um, Nigeria I don't know how much it is from um, uh, Lagos to Togo on a uh, on by road but i know if you travel to Benin republic by road with five thousand it's still around that price to go from there to togo it's not really a far distance as well so that is about it while traveling to togo and that country you can travel by road as well to uh, from nigeria it's ghana you can travel to ghana by road most people don't know this most people feel like you have to get to ghana just by air but no people travel to ghana every day by road and you can be one of them if you're considering budget trip so we could go to ghana by road um from nigeria to ghana by road is fifty thousand naira. this was the last price as at 2023 december but i'm very sure that if they are putting top something on top it's not going to be you know a lot of difference probably they've added like say for example five thousand more or ten thousand more so Ghana is another place you can travel by road as well um, 
same thing you go to um, the mainland and there are lot there are luxury buses that go to Ghana there are also short small buses that go to Ghana so you can decide to go to Ghana by road from Lagos Nigeria so another country you can go to also by road is Cameroon Cameroon it's close to Nigeria you can go from Lagos but the easier and the closer route to there is um, Calabar they share closed borders with Cameroon right so you can go to Cameroon as well on the road but I don't know the price range while traveling from Cameroon uh, from Nigeria to Cameroon probably in my next the second phase of this video I'm going to give you that details but yeah you can safely travel to Cameroon by road from Nigeria as well there are also countries you can travel by road but most of them you don't necessarily go directly from Nigeria so say for example you might want to go to Burkina Faso Burkina Faso you can get there by road you might want to go from Nigeria so the closer route you can go from Ghana right if I go from Ghana then from Ghana you can enter Burkina Faso a closer they are also connecting countries they are Sierra Leone also Senegal you can go by road from Nigeria so now Senegal what works is that when you get to Benin Republic from Cotonou to Senegal so you could just do like a two trips right so when you leave from Nigeria to Benin Republic you can take from Benin Republic to Senegal they have connecting borders to know so that works as well if you want to go to Mali I don't know if people literally go to these places as a Nigerian I mean definitely I think I'm gonna be going to these places with time I'm just giving you countries that you can go to via road and they are all safe so Mali I haven't been there but through my research they share a border with Togo so as I said earlier you can go to Togo by road as a Nigerian so you can go to Togo then from Togo you can enter Mali so these are the countries that you can go but the three countries the four countries I share to you are the countries that I'm very sure you can go just directly from Lagos to then from there to other countries I mentioned Burkina Faso Sierra Leone Mali and yeah you can go from these countries and connect to there it's like you're traveling by flight they're connecting countries right you can go from here to here from here to here so that also works very well as well and it's way cheaper way cheaper I tell you and also safe as well really really safe it's always very rare for you to hear road accidents while traveling to all these countries the documents you need I said it doesn't pass your documents are your international passport your yellow fever card and your COVID card these are the documents you might need or you would need while traveling also have a lot of cash with you while traveling because most times these countries or these borders or even Migration might tend to extort money from you or might ask you for this amount of money for your documents not being complete or for your this 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 always have additional money in hand to sort out all of this so yeah uh, I hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to drop your comment if you have other questions you might want to ask me drop in the comment section and I will answer all of them so I'll call you away next time I'm not in the room